Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, ang pag-usapan natin is about the ideal gas law, and we are going to solve here practice problems involving this topic. So if you are new to this channel, guys, this is Engineer Prof PH YouTube channel. So I'm offering lecture videos for engineering, mathematics, and sciences. So you can also check out my Facebook page that is Facebook slash Engineer Prof. PH. Okay? So, in this video guys, mag-solve tayo ng mga problems concerning the ideal gas law. So, when you say ideal gas guys, just a quick background of this topic, no? Ideal gas or perfect gas uh, confirms the uh, law which is you have here uh, PV equals we have uh, MRT. Okay? So, itong concept na to is that uh, if your ideal gas, if your gas behaves on this relationship, it is called ideal gas or perfect gas. So, this is your equation of state of the ideal gas. P is the pressure. This is absolute, the absolute pressure of the gas. V is the volume of the gas. M is its mass. R is the gas constant of the gas. And T is the absolute temperature of the gas. So you can also express this in terms of your universal gas constant. Okay, so ito, this is the real gas constant of that specific gas. So pwede natin gamitin yung universal gas constant to find the uh, specific gas constant of that specific substance. Okay, so yung ating uh, uh, equation of state magiging PV equals N. You have here the universal gas constant times T. So, yung universal gas constant, sinabi siyang universal kasi pwede mo siyang gamitin sa lahat ng gases as long as given yung number of moles ng gases N. So, N is your mass of that gas divided by its molecular weight. Okay, so kung i-transfer natin dito, you have here PV that is equal to N. So, palitan natin yung N ng mass. Okay, mass Okay, mass all over molecular weight of the gas times your universal gas constant R we have here times T. But we have here M times universal gas constant all over your molecular weight times temperature. So we can conclude that the specific or the uh, unique uh, gas constant of that specific gas is equal to the universal gas constant divided by the molecular weight of that gas. So, these are our relationships. Okay. So, paano naman pag-process of this ideal gas? So, i-relate natin yung properties at state 1 and state 2. For example, at state 1, you have here at state 2, meron tayong, say ito, i-manipulate natin, i-extract natin yung MR. Therefore, at state 1, we have P1V1 all over T1 is equal to MR. So here, at state 2, same thing we have here, P sub 2, V sub 2 all over T sub 2 is equal to MR. Okay, so ideal gas at any state, P1, V1 over T1 is constant. So you can equate these two relationships. So P1, V1 all over T sub 1 is equal to P2, V2 all over T sub 2. So this is your uh, equation of that process. So, this is what you call the combined gas law. So, these are the relationship that are needed in this particular topic. So, solve tayo ng problems involving the ideal gas law. Before anything else, guys, kung bago ka sa channel na to, if you are new to this channel, guys, uh, please do click the subscribe button para ma-update ka sa mga future videos natin. Wala kang ma-miss na mga lecture videos kung nag-take ka ng thermodynamics. So, ito, guys, this is uh, dedicated sa subject na thermodynamics 1. Okay, so yung thermodynamics natin sa college, merong two parts yan, kung mechanical engineering ka, or sa other courses, I think, meron din silang thermodynamics. So, lahat ng engineering courses ay nagtitake ng thermodynamics subject. And sa board exam, madalas rin lumabas itong mga topic na ito. So, this is a very important topic. So, first of all, ano ba yung mga foundation na kailangan natin dito? Of course, yung introduction natin, yung mga formula na ginamit natin doon, ang relationships na ginamit natin doon ay kailangan natin siya dito. And of course, yung pinaka foundation of this topic is your unit conversion. So, dapat marunong tayong mag-convert 
from System International Metric System to English Units or your uh, English Customary Units. In this first problem, we have an air compressor delivers 0.2 cubic meter of air at a pressure of 850 kilopascal and 31 degrees Celsius into the air reservoir. Taking the gas constant of air, uh, as we have here 0.287 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin, calculate the mass of air delivered. So using your equation of state of the ideal gas, you can say that uh, PV equals MRT. Okay? So yung ating uh, required dito is the mass. We just need to extract mass in terms of the other variable. So M, so just divide both sides by RT. So we have here M is equal to PV over RT. So dito, hindi na natin kailangan gumamit ng universal gas constant kasi given niya yung actual gas constant of our substance. Yung substance natin dito, yung gas natin dito is air. So the gas constant of air that is constant, yung ideal gas is yung R natin dito is 0.287 you have here kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. Or kung sa English ka, equal yan sa 53.34 you have here uh, foot pound force okay, foot pound force per pound mass rang kind. So lahat dapat ng parameter natin dito especially pressure and temperature dapat naka-absolute okay so in this problem sinabi niya pressure of 850 kPa okay so deliver siya sa uh, compressor ng 850 kPa so we can assume that this is a absolute pressure so pressure natin is 850 kilopascals okay so yung ating uh, temperature is 31 degrees Celsius. So, we need to convert this to Kelvin kasi yung Kelvin natin is the absolute temperature scale. So, temperature, i-convert natin to Kelvin. So, temperature equals, so kung kikelvin natin yung Celsius, mag a lang tayo ng 273. Okay, so 31 or 273.15. But I, uh, you know, I use 273 for simplicity. But you can also use 273.15. So, 31 plus 273, okay? So, that is your uh, temperature in Kelvin na siya. Pag-add ka lang ng 273 to your Celsius uh, reading. This is 304 Kelvins. Okay, so that is absolute. Now, we can compute for its uh, mass. So, yung ating volume here. So, volume is equal to 0.2. That is cubic meter. So, lahat ng given and dito na, we just need to substitute that to our revised equation in terms of mass. So, M equals PV over RT. So, pressure is 850 kilopascals times yung volume natin that is 0.2 cubic meter divided by R. So, R is for ideal gas, kung air yung ideal gas natin, 0.287 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. Ayan. So, most of the problem, uh, hindi naman ginigiven yung R for air. So, dapat memorize natin kung ano ba yung gas constant of air. So, 0.287 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin or 53.34 foot pound force per pound mass rangkine kung ikaw ay nasa English unit. So T natin temperature is 304 Kelvin. So unit analysis tayo guys no. So KPA is also so KPA unit of pressure that is force per area. So kilonewtons per square meter. So you can just change that para makita natin yung equivalent unit niya. So, this is, of course, dapat kilogram. So, i-check natin. So, kilonewton per square meter. Now, here, kilojoule, of course, yung energy natin, kilojoule, ang equivalent unit niya is kilonewton meter. So, you can just change that para makita natin yung unit. So, if you're advanced already, you, you don't need to do this. Okay, basta alam natin yung units. So, kilonewton 
meter. So okay, mag-cancel na yung kilonewton dito, kilonewton. So ito, cancel na rin. So this is 1 here. So ito, cancel na siya. So wala na, exponent 0. So ito, since na may mass pa dito, m, so cancel na rin dito. So cancel na siyang dalawa. So ito, Kelvin, mag-cancel na. So yung kilogram, pwede natin siyang itaas doon. So m equals, so this is in kilograms. So, the mass is equivalent to 1.95. So, three significant figures yung kukunin natin. So, this is the final answer for this problem. For our second problem, guys, we have an oxygen cylinder of volume 2.3 cubic feet has a pressure of 2,200 PSI gauge. So, pag may G dyan, uh, that is gauge. So, N is at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Determine the mass of oxygen in the cylinder. So, we are going to find the mass again. So, wala tayong given dito na gas constant of your oxygen. But we can find its gas constant uh, based from the relationship that the gas constant of a specific gas here, oxygen, is equal to the universal gas constant divided by the molecular weight of oxygen. Okay, so we can find its um, gas constant. So, the relationship again, so PV equals M. RT or uh, we can change that to uh, PV equals N we have here R T so the gas constant of the oxygen is equal to so universal gas constant divided by the molecular weight so the universal gas constant is 8.314 uh, kilojoule per kilomole Kelvin if you are concerned with the SI units but if you're concerned with the English units from this problem, kasi naka-English siya, that is 1545 foot pound force per mole rankine. Okay, so that is our universal gas constant. So yung unit natin dito guys, lahat sila naka-English. So yung gagamitin natin is 1545 foot pound force per mole rankine na universal gas constant. Then divided by the molecular weight of the oxygen. Okay, so i-recall natin ano ba yung molecular weight ng oxygen. So the molecular weight of oxygen is so 16 since the atomic siya, so times 2 pa. So 2 times we have here 16 pounds per mole. So that is its molecular weight. So i-divide lang natin. So we have here 1545 divided by 32. So, for significant figures tayo, so 48.28, this is foot pound force per uh, pound mass rankine. Okay, so that is our gas constant. So, since sinyalap natin is mass, so M, mass of oxygen is equal to PV over RT. So, pressure is... 2,200 PSI gauge. So, para makuha natin yung absolute pressure, mag-add tayo ng atmospheric. So, that is 2,200 PSI. So, that is gauge. Add tayo ng atmospheric pressure. So, kung PSI, the atmospheric pressure standard tayo at sea level, that is 14.7 PSI. So, huwag kakalimutan dapat yung pressure natin is absolute. Okay? So, 2,200 plus 14.7 PSI. So, yung Ating uh, 2,200, so this is your gauge pressure plus yung 14.7 PSI is your atmospheric pressure. So, yung P natin dito is absolute pressure. So, recalling the concept that the absolute pressure is the sum of your gauge plus the atmospheric pressure. So, the pressure is 2,214.7. So, this is 2,214.7 PSI. Okay, so volume given tayo ng so V is equal to 2.3 that is cubic feet then yung temperature natin temperature is given by uh, that is 70 degrees Fahrenheit so you convert natin yung temperature to absolute so temperature that is degrees Fahrenheit plus 460 so this temperature is in uh, rank kind so kailangan natin i-convert pa siya so 70 plus 4 60 here. So, this unit is Rankine, the absolute scale of temperature for the English unit. So, temperature natin in Rankine is 530 
rank kind. So, kompleto na yung mga given natin. Let's just input this to the equation, then analyze its units. So, the mass is equal to pressure over volume. So, pressure natin is 2,214.7 PSI times we have volume natin is 2.3 cubic feet then R is 48.28 foot pound force per pound mass rang time. So, this is 48.28 foot pound force per pound mass rang time times its temperature which is 530 rang time. So, don't just multiply this and expect a unit of pounds, pound mass. So, analysis muna tayo ng units. So, ito, this is pound force per square inch. So, just change this into its uh, actual form. So, this is pound force per square inch. So, dito, ang naka-foot ito, so ito naka-inches, dapat i-convert mo yung inches to feet or vice versa. So, dito, mas madali kung itong inches natin dito, i-convert natin to feet. So, yung inches squared, dapat i-convert natin to uh, square feet. 12 inches per 1 foot. So, this is squared. Kasi naka-square yung inches doon. So, ito guys, consistent na yung unit natin. So, ito, square feet. Maka-cancel yan. So, feet na lang. So, feet doon sa baba, mag-cancel dito. Pound force will cancel out. Then, of course, rank kind will cancel out. We have here, it leaves you the unit of pound mass. Okay, so M equals, so ito, pounds na lang. So, its mass is 28 point, approximately, kung four significant figures, 28.67 pound mass. So, this is the final answer for this second problem. For this problem number three, guys, we have one cubic meter of a perfect gas at constant pressure of 1 bar and a temperature of 17 degrees Celsius are compressed to a volume of 0 0.5 cubic meter and the final pressure is 6 bar calculate the final temperature so this is a process guys so this is not uh, an equation of state ang gagamitin natin but the process kasi dito uh, compression process so hinanap natin is the final temperature given dito yung mga initial and other final conditions so, the equation of our process is that for an ideal gas, PV over T is constant all throughout the process. Okay, so uh, P1, V1 over T1. So, this is constant at state 1 and at state 2. So, P2, V2 over T sub 2. So, for our conversion, so ang 1 bar natin, so pressure 1 is 1 bar. So, P1 is 1 bar. Okay, so additional information, 1 bar is just equivalent to 100 kilopascal. But here, hindi na natin siya kailangan i-convert kasi these are ratios. So, magka-cancel lang naman yung units niya to both sides of the equation. So, no need to convert units here. So, yung temperature 1 natin, okay, so i-convert natin to Kelvin. So, mag-add tayo ng 273. So, this is in Kelvin. So, our temperature 1 is 290 Kelvin. So, that is absolute temperature. Yung ating volume 1 is 1 cubic meter. Ito, from the problem. So, 1 cubic meter. And then, yung ating uh, volume 2 compressed to a volume. So, ito at state 2 na siya. Kinompress yung ating perfect gas to a volume of 0 0.5 cubic meter. So, lumiit yung volume niya because kinompress. So, V sub 2 is equal to 0 0.5 cubic meters. Okay, so yung final pressure natin, P sub 2 is equal to 6 bar. So, what is the final temperature? Okay, so i-manipulate natin yung equation natin dito. So, T sub 2 is just equal to, you have here, ito, i-multiply natin dito, then i-divide natin both sides by P1 V1 over T1. So, T2 is just equal to P2 V2 divided by this left side of your equation. So, P1, V1 over T1. Okay, so let's just simplify this. So, T sub 2 is just equal to, you have here P sub 2, V sub 2 times T sub 1 all over 
P1, V1. So, we just manipulate the equation. Okay, so P sub 2 given tayo ng 6 bar. We have here 6 bars. Then, V sub 2 is 0 0.5 cubic meter. Then, T sub 1 is 290 Kelvin. P1 is 1 bar. And V1 is so 1 bar here. Then, V1 is 1 cubic meter. Okay, so mag-cancel na yung units dito. Bar will cancel here. Cubic meter will cancel. Then, yung unit natin is Kelvin. So, our temperature to is 870 Kelvin. Now, yung given natin na temperature from the problem is naka-degree Celsius. Therefore, i-convert natin to revert this back to degrees Celsius. So, yung temperature natin in Kelvin, okay, temperature in Kelvin is just equal to degree C plus 273. So, kung i-revert back natin to degree Celsius, mag-minus tayo or mag-subtract tayo dito ng 273. So, therefore, T sub 2 is 870 minus 273. So, this is now in degrees Celsius. So, T sub 2 is equal to 597. That is degrees Celsius. This is now the final answer for this specific problem. We now head to problem number 4. Okay guys, number 4 na tayo. So, we have still uh, 6 to go after this problem. So, 10 problems yung isolve natin. So, an ideal gas is 45 PSI gauge and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. It's heated in a closed container to 130 degrees Fahrenheit. What is the final pressure? Okay, pressure yung hinahanap natin. So, equation of our process. So, P1, V1 over T1 is constant. So, P2, V2 over T sub 2. Okay, here. So, dito, sabi natin sa problem is it's a closed container. So, constant yung volume niya. It will not expand. It will not uh, be compressed. So, therefore, the uh, volume inside the tank is constant because of this keyword a closed container so volume natin is constant v1 equals v2 so it leaves your equation as p1 over t1 equals p2 over t2 because v1 will cancel out to both sides since they are equal so dito hinahanap natin is the final pressure so p sub 2 so p sub 2 here is equal to you have P1 over T1 times T sub 2. So, you just need to solve this. So, the pressure 1 is 45 PSI gauge. So, we need to convert this to absolute pressure. So, 45 PSI plus your atmospheric pressure. Standard tayo. So, 14.7 PSI. So, this is our absolute pressure at state 1. So, pressure 1 is equal to 59. 7 PSI. Then, temperature 1 is equal to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So, i-convert natin to rank kind to have our temperature as absolute. So, 80 degrees Fahrenheit plus 460. So, this is now in rank kind. So, our equivalent of this is 540 rank kind. So, at state 2, our temperature is 130 degrees Fahrenheit. So, converting that to rank kind, so 130 plus 460. So, that is now in rank kind. So, this is equivalent to 590 rank kind. So, just need to substitute that then. Pressure 2 can be found. So, P sub 2 is equal to P1 over T1 times sub 2. So, P1 is 59.7 PSI. So, that is divided by T sub 1 which is 540 rank kind times you have here T sub 2 which is 590 rank kind. So, upon solving pressure 2 is found to be 65.23 this is in PSI. In order to denote that this is absolute, lagay ka ng A here. So, PSI absolute. Since this is an absolute pressure. So, this is the final answer for this problem. So, here we go to number 5. A closed vessel contains air at a pressure of 23.2 PSI gauge and a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. The air is heated at a constant volume to 60 degrees Celsius with the atmospheric pressure of 759 
millimeters of mercury. So that is mmHg. What is the final gauge pressure in kilopascal? So mapansin natin dito guys sa problem, iba-iba yung unit niya. So we need to convert this all to SI. Kasi yung inahanap natin na final gauge pressure is in kilopascal. Okay. Now ito, uh, what is the final gauge pressure? So this is a process, no? Kasi may final tayong inahanap. Now we have here uh, P1, okay, P1, V1 over T1. Since this is a process, no, this is constant, is equal to P2, V2 over temperature 2. Now, dito sinabi sa problem that the volume is constant. Heated at a constant volume. Therefore, yung process natin is isometric. So, constant yung volume natin. So, V1 is equal to V sub 2. So, yun yung mga condition in the problem. It leaves us with the equation P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T sub 2. So, the atmospheric na given natin, so, ang atmospheric pressure that is given is uh, 759 millimeters of mercury. So, yung gagamitin natin conversion is yung standard atmospheric pressure. So, that is 14.7 PSI is equal to 760 millimeters of mercury. Okay. So, P1 natin, absolute na tayo, no? So, P1, i-absolute natin siya. So, that is gauge pressure plus your atmospheric pressure. So, at state 1, close contains, close vessel contains air at pressure 23.2 PSI gauge. So, this is 23.2 PSI. So, this is gauge plus your atmospheric. So, yung atmospheric pressure natin is 759 millimeters of mercury. So, i-convert natin to to PSI. So, itong conversion natin. So, we have 14.7 PSI, okay, per 760 millimeters of mercury. So, that is consistent unit. So, P1, absolute pressure at state 1 is equal to, we have here a 37 point, that is 88 PSI. So, pound force per square inch. So, that is P1. So, itong pressure at state 1, since yung hinanap natin is pressure 2 in kilopascal, yung P1 natin, i-convert na natin siya into kilopascal. So, P1 is equal to 37 point 88, you have here PSI, convert natin to kilopascal. So, yung conversion natin is, you have here 101.325 kilopascals per 14.7 PSI. Okay, converted to kilopascal. So, ito guys yung technique, no, pag mag-convert ka ng pressure, you always use the uh, standard atmospheric pressure. Okay, so the equivalent of P1 is 261 0.1 kilopascals. So, temperature 1 and temperature 2 should be in absolute temperature. Okay. So, T1 is 30 degrees C. Then, T sub 2 is 60 degrees Celsius. So, T1 gawin nating absolute. So, 30 degrees C. Add tayo ng 273 para maging Kelvin siya. So, this is 303. That is in Kelvin. Okay. So, yung T sub 2 natin is 60 degrees Celsius plus we have here 273 that is in Kelvin so this is 333 Kelvin okay so input na lang natin in this equation uh, we can find our pressure 2 okay so from the equation we have P1 over T1 equals P2 over T sub 2 okay so this is uh, what you call the Charles Law. So, ito guys yung Charles Law natin. So, sabi sa Charles Law guys, if the volume of the gas is held constant, the pressure is directly proportional to the temperature. Okay, so the higher the pressure, the higher your temperature. So, this is your Charles Law. Okay, so P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T2. So, P sub 2 is equal to P1 over T1 times T sub 2. So, pressure 2 is equal to so, you have P1, that is 261.1 kilopascals. So, over temperature 1, that is 303 Kelvin times your T sub 2, that is 333 Kelvin. We have here 286.95 kilopascal absolute. So, sa problem natin guys, ang inahanap niya is final gauge pressure. So, we need to convert this pressure absolute into 
gauge pressure. Okay, so yung gauge pressure, state 2 is just your absolute pressure minus your atmospheric pressure because gauge pressure plus atmospheric is absolute. So, minus lang natin yung atmospheric. So, pressure 2 is 286.95 kilopascals minus the atmospheric pressure that is 759 millimeters of mercury. Convert natin guys to kilopascal. Okay, so 101.325 kPa K per 760 millimeters of mercury. So that is a conversion again. Ang final answer natin guys, gawin natin siyang 5 significant figures. So this is 185.76 kilopascals. Okay, so this is the final answer for this problem. So this is the gauge pressure. Okay, you should always look at that kasi pwede kang careless during the board exam. So kung sa board exam, then yung nakuha mo guys is absolute ilalagay nila yon sa choices. So, dapat uh, hindi ka careless sa pag-analyze kung ano ba talaga yung required in the problem. So, in this case, it's the gauge pressure, not the absolute pressure, which is 286.95 because this uh, absolute pressure can also be included in the choices during the board examination. So, you need to always look at that.